And it is safe to say that Marie Kondo has become a household name even here in the Philippines. Are you a victim? Not yet, uh, not yet. Sort of, yes. I mean yourself, not you. Uh, no, yeah. <laughs> but did you know that our own country has our very own decluttering guru? And sometimes keeping the home organized can be a bit overwhelming. And well, we know this, of course. Which is why Isa Reyes and Deet Obsessions is here to save the day. Welcome to the show. Hi. Good morning. Hi, hi Good morning. I like your uh, the name of your company, Neat Obsessions. Yeah. That sounds like all my disorders <laughs> right down your alley. <laughs> <laughs> all right. So um, tell us about Neat Obsessions and how similar is it to Marie Kondo since she's so popular right now and she's on Netflix. Like, can you do a brief compare comparison okay. of your services? Is it the same thing? You go to a house and actually, it's it's how is it similar? Is mm. if the client asks. Mm -hmm. for my help when mm -hmm. she wants to declutter then mm -hmm. i can assist her mm -hmm. but basically what i do is really more on to organizing so i'm like the in-between of an interior designer and a professional cleaner okay because mm -hmm. interior designers they're not gonna um fix your things yeah and then They'll the cleaners just put, like shelves for you right, ka na, right. right? Uh -huh. and then the cleaners naman, they make sure that it's dust free and all your like your floors and your i mean all that um around your so house what is you're doing time. is you're the one actually putting away things right. and maybe saying like okay you've run out of space for these things right. what do mm -hmm. we do with that is right. that kind of what you do either yeah. that or mm -hmm. i make sure that there's space for everything so how how do you do that? How do you make space when you know sometimes we're really stuck in an eighty, you know, square meter box, right? And there's really not much to do. Like what? Um, how can you help people? I mean, a lot of people now live in condos. How this do you how do you violate the law and conservation of mass when it comes to <laughs> these things? How do we bend science? Yeah. You know how you are overwhelmed. Like when you go to the department store and see all those organizing bins and storage mm -hmm. and your cabinets. Mm -hmm. um, and you don't know what to do. Like, I, you go there and say, I will organize my house. And when you step to the area yeah. where all the organizers are, you're like, what am I going to do with this? And damid. And damid, I mean, yeah. what, what things should I put in there? So those are the things that I actually give advice uh, to my client. Because mm -hmm. um, sometimes, because they're overwhelmed with their stuff, they also don't know how to house it. Mm -hmm. So that's basically what I do. Make sure that there's a specific place for everything. You know, it's like the saying, um, a place for everything and everything, everything in its place. place. So that's, that's right. basically what you do. Yep. Yeah. And sometimes if they don't have a place, then you just buy them a place and like the department store or something, right? right? For, like a lalagyan or a shelf. Right. Okay. For me, it's just chamba chamba lang eh, whenever mm -hmm. I, I try to clean up my things. Right? Right. <laughs> what do you mean? Right. Yeah, but then uh, as long as it's not uh -huh. in front of me, it's somewhere else. Then for me, it's... Oh, no. Yeah. Oh, or that's... as long as it's behind a door yeah, and right. you don't see it, it's you're like good. It's like in some drawer that contains every other thing that I own. But then uh, you yeah. have said uh, on social media that Neat Obsessions was an accident, was a beautiful accident. Yes. Can you tell us more about this? I always refer to it as a beautiful accident mm -hmm. because I actually just started a page for me to share my obsessions. Okay, mm -hmm. so you're, you're just like venting your OCD yeah. and sharing it because people are asking you like, right. oh, bakit ang neat mo? Right. Because okay. basically, like, <laughs> I, I can go like a year without going to the like shopping for clothes or mm -hmm. shoes but mm -hmm. i cannot in a month i i should go to a hardware store mm -hmm. or the department okay. store it's always for home improvement that's uh -huh. my obsession only for okay. you to find overwhelming <laughs> relate online <laughs> right and then when i when i posted i when i when i made the page uh -huh. it's basically me trying to maybe later on blog or uh -huh. vlog about it and then yeah it was an accident when people started Coming up to me you. and say, I, I think I need your help. And with research, I I did it and then I became um, part of the International Association of Professional Organizers in New Jersey. Wow. What? Yeah. It exists. <laughs> it does. <laughs> See, I was just telling my friends, there's an organization for everything. There is. And there really is. But Isa, can I ask you what your background is? Like, what were you doing before? Or do you still have a day job? Uh, yeah. Well, I'm or a financial this... advisor before. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> but basically, I've been an HR practitioner for five years. Okay. And then I became a housewife because we moved to Hong Kong with okay. my 
my like, entire family. Mm -hmm. And then... Um, and the space there is mm -hmm. like so tiny. I know. Yeah. <laughs> so tell me about <laughs> so it, so right? that's probably where you started. Not back actually. I started way, way, way back because so my dad life. is very strict when it comes to homemaking. Mm -hmm. So it, it all started there. My dad is the one who influenced me. Yeah, mm -hmm. it's my dad. You should see his um, hardware collection. Like, oh my gosh, he has I his own hardware that. store at home. Okay. So, yeah, but <laughs> mm -hmm. it's, it's like it, he's the one who influenced me to do this. Mm -hmm. But anyway, going back, um, mm -hmm. um, basically... The way I started Neat Obsessions is just to me to share out my passion. Mm -hmm. And it was a beautiful accident because when I started doing it as a business, my husband is very happy because oh, finally, it's not you're not doing it at home. Yeah. And this is every day there's something new at home. Yeah. So that's, yeah. 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 It's you're doing it somewhere else. Yeah, you're doing else somewhere else. Yeah, you do have a nice system in place now. now what I want to find out is what are the, like what I mentioned earlier, no, basta it's out of sight, out of mind right. for me. Mm -hmm. What are the normal, uh, notorious practices of Filipinos when it comes to like being pack rats mm -hmm. or mm -hmm. not being able to let go of these Harder. entire items that uh, take up so much space? Filipinos are very sentimental, Ayon, period. That's number one. Okay. Two things because, one, it's because of relationships. Like, they, they want to keep, like, fl ano yun? flower petals. Di ba yeah, yung mga yeah, ganon? Yeah. Put it in a book. Yeah. And then, na-damage na din yung book. Yeah. Kasi. Mm -hmm. So, those things, they're very sentimental. And another one is because it, it equates to their success. So, sometimes, mm -hmm. they're very much attached to their things mm -hmm. because maybe from rags to riches uh -huh. and ganyan. And then, um, one thing also that I noticed with Pinoy's is that um, they are very much attached to it because you can just imagine us growing up and your parents telling you, "I alam mo kung paano natin pinaghirapan yan," mm -hmm. or th those those kind of things. That's why it, it it's so hard for us to let go. So how do you how do you deal with people who can't let go? Because um, we know I, we all know someone like that, mm -hmm. and you know it, it's so hard. <laughs> you just need to get them to start, and then usually right. it's easier. But how do you do that initial kickstart? Okay. Yeah. Um, the difference between mm -hmm. Marie Kondo and I mm -hmm. is that I don't initiate decluttering right away because mm -hmm. one, I'm a psych graduate, so uh -huh. I know how to let I, I know how it is for you to go through a certain process mm -hmm. of letting go things. Mm -hmm. Feelings kailangan dahan dahan, uh -huh. for you to move on. There is a process. Mm -hmm. Same goes with you letting go of your things. Mm -hmm. So that's why for me, it's a step by step process. If you are a hoarder, I'll put an order to it first. Mm -hmm. And that's actually what's what's nice about Philippi I mean my clients mm -hmm. per se because when I put order to their things, that's when they realize that I have too much time. Harder pala ako. <laughs> they think you're harder, pero pag nilatag mo lahat, you're yeah. like, oh my gosh, ang dami pala. Right. Diba? Or ang dami kong Christmas decor. Right. And when I, let, let's say, when I fix it, and sometimes kasi it's because nga, I'm obsessed. So when I fix your clothes, let's say I do it by color or whatever, whatever suits you, I always process it with a client. And then when they realize that they have 10 of each color, that's when they actually process in their minds that maybe I only need two. Or maybe I only need three. So So you don't approach go there and go, okay, start throwing away stuff that don't spark joy. You don't do that, right? You just arrange things and you're like, Okay, this is all the space we have and this is all the stuff you have. You make the decision. That's right, yeah. because I am very sentimental myself. Mm -hmm. I'm Pinoy, we so. all understand each other. <laughs> right. the I allow myself two boxes for my sentimental things, two small boxes and um, yeah, that's it. So how do we share your neat obsession? And how do we avail of your services if mm -hmm. need be? Okay. If it's that bad. You can actually follow me both on Facebook and on mm -hmm. Instagram. It's at Neat Obsessions. And you can also follow me. Recently, I started a YouTube page. Okay. That's... Yeah. So you can follow my vlog in YouTube also. It's the same at Neat, Obs uh, Neat Obsessions. All right. All right. Thank you very much, Issa Reyes. Thank for, you. Uh, finally, you're now a vlogger blogger <laughs> and uh, <laughs> our own version of Marie Kondo. Thank you so but, much. But uh, nicer and more Thank sentimental. You. <laughs> right. Thank you so much. It's so come time now for another quick break. But when we return... Things got pretty heated at the final presser of Pacquiao and Broner's matchup in Las Vegas. But here's the catch. It was not the two fighters who locked horns. And say goodbye to Arwin's iconic Spider-Man dunk. From now on, this move will cause a technical foul in the PBA. Catch more of these stories when we return. Keep it here on Rush Hour.